Welcome to Catholic University's sixth annual Research Day. I'm happy to see Research Day continue to grow in popularity. I want to thank the organizing committee for making it such a successful event, even in the midst of a pandemic. And I want to thank everyone who supports Research Day in big or small ways. Last year, as you'll recall, we had to move Research Day online and we were a bit worried about attendance. As it happens, we had little to worry about. 3,000 people visited the website on the actual Research Day and we had 10,000 views over the following two months. Last year we had 48 oral presentations and 67 posters, an impressive feat considering how quickly everyone involved had to move to the new format. This year we've grown by more than 50 percent. There are 78 oral presentations and almost 100 posters. Three, I'm happy to say, are from our staff. Also new this year are students in online programs like nursing. Last year's experience unhappy as it was, had some beneficial long-term effects. In the future, I think we'll continue with the option to participate virtually. It's allowed us to invite members of the community who can't be with us on campus. I was particularly happy to hear that there are some prospective students attending this year. Welcome to you. I look forward to seeing you live next year right here. Research Day takes place in the first part of April, around the same time we celebrate Founders Day. This is perfect timing. We were founded as a research university 134 years ago. On April 10th, in 1887, Pope Leo XIII wrote to Cardinal James Gibbons, our first chancellor, that a revival of the sciences would benefit civil society. We see an example of this in Dr. Rao's work this year to develop a new type of coronavirus vaccine. Other projects this year underline the same theme, food insecurity in the pandemic, robots, transforming the future of nursing education through telepresence, machine learning for search and rescue operations, and athletes' well-being and resiliency after COVID. Other projects highlight the breadth of research taking place on the campus, from geochronology of planetary robotic missions to the miracles of Mary in Ethiopic and Arabic manuscripts. In 2008, Leo's successor Pope Benedict visited Catholic University and gave a talk about higher education. He spoke about the noble goals of scholarship and education as especially powerful instruments of hope. Our students and our faculty who've worked this year to address many of the world's problems have done this for us. Their work inspires hope for us all.